So yeah, this is going to be a haul video. Um, I went shopping, well, did a little shopping last week. And I've been meaning to post this video all week. I just haven't had time to. Um, so yeah, I'm finally getting to it now. But uh, first things first, I'm pretty sure you all are wondering what's going on with my hair. Last time you saw me, it was straight. Now it's about curly. Yep. I tried to go three weeks with um, that flat iron, but I couldn't do it. Like I, My hair just felt like limp and lifeless so I was missing my curls I just washed it out and this is a wash and go I don't really do wash and goes so it's kind of crunchy and I'm still trying to figure out you know how you scrunch the crunch you know how people say that I don't really know what that means but yeah my hair's crunchy and I'm hoping that tomorrow it will not be <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm filming this video from my living room. If you hear any strange noises, it's probably my upstairs neighbors. They are notoriously loud and obnoxious. So just a warning. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this haul. I went to Sephora and I initially went there. I don't really know what I went there for actually. <laughs> I was just like in the mood to buy makeup. So I just stopped in Sephora. Um, the first thing I picked up is this. It is a facial cleansing brush, kind of like exfoliator. This cost me five dollars. Um, I actually saw this in one of my favorite YouTubers. She's so funny. Her name is Andrea's Choice. <laughs> she has a twin sister, but anyway, that's kind of pointless. But um, yeah, I saw this in one of her videos, and I thought it'd be kind of cool. So yeah, I picked this up. I haven't tried it yet, and I picked up Nars. Lovejoy blush and it looks like this it's kind of like a a rosy pink it has a little shimmer not a lot um the thing with this blush is you have to be very very light-handed with it like I'm wearing it now and it really only takes like one dab of like your um your blush brush because you'll be looking like a clown so I got that. I forgot how much this cost. I think it was like $22. And I picked up some nail polish because I bought some nail polish from them like from Sephora. The Sephora by OPI line like last year and that polish lasts me so long. Like not only did it last long, like it didn't cake up or chunk up or whatever like your polish normally does. Like it actually stays on my nails for like a really long time. So I was like this must be like a really good formula. So I decided to go back. And get a couple more. I picked up this one, which is called Already Famous. And I have, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to give you the finger, but uh, <laughs> it looks like this. <laughs> it's like a shimmery, like muted gold color. I like it a lot. Already Famous, Sephora by OPI. And then I got this one, which is called Mermaid to Order. And it's not really picking up on camera. It looks like it's blue, but it's really not. It's more of a greenish, like, aqua color. And I have it on this finger. And I picked up this one, which is Brunette on the internet. And this one was actually on sale. They had, like, a sale basket or whatever. And the worker was like, oh, you should try our sale items. Blah, blah, blah. I think it was, like, $5. Versus, I think, the normal ones are, like, 9 So this one was, like, $5. I guess because it's, like, a wintry kind of color. And this is what it looks like. I won't tell you about the catastrophe that happened with my finger. Don't mind all of that. <laughs> it was like a mess that happened before this video. But anyway, <laughs> that's what the color looks like. And I also picked up this Urban Decay Mascara. I really like the brush on this. It's called the uh, Skyscraper Multi Benefit Mascara. And this is what the brush looks like. I always like stick to brushes that look like this. It's kind of like it has like little combs on it. So yeah, I really like it a lot. It um my favorite mascara right now is like the Rimmel Glam something. I don't know, but it has like teeth like this on the um, brush. But this one is actually better because it actually plumps my lashes. So I like this a little bit better, even though it's more expensive. And then I picked up these two polishes, polishes 
from CVS. This one is by Orly. And this one is called Glitz and Glamour. And it's on this finger. I really, 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 really like, th like this color a lot. It's like so sparkly. I love anything that sparkles. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this. Um, I don't know if I would wear this like on a normal, like everyday basis. Um, but I like it a lot. And I got this silver because I don't have a standard silver nail polish. This is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Celeb City. That's on this finger. And those are all the polishes that I got. Um, I guess everything beauty wise. Oh no, wait. I got um, some makeup wipes from Forever 21 of all places. I was like in line waiting to get my stuff or buy my stuff and they had little packs of makeup wipes. And I was like running low on my normal ones. So I decided to pick these up and they were like $2.99 each. So I got two packs. No, they were $2.80 each. I got two packs and so far so good. I mean, um, I've used them a couple times and they're just like my normal ones that I get from CVS. So good deal. And I went to Forever 21. I don't really shop there that much anymore, but I saw a couple things that I liked. I picked up this shirt. It's really cute. Kind of springy. And it was $19.80. I also picked up some man beaters. I got a white one and a black one and these were $3.50 each. They had a bunch of different colors but I chose the white and the black. And then I got these leggings which are not like the normal thin leggings that they have at Forever 21. They're a lot thicker so they're more like pants than leggings. Um, they have like a little detail here like around the knee and they have like little faux pockets and these cost me $17.80 so yeah that's all the stuff that I picked up um, last week at the mall I just wanted to share with you guys in case you were like looking for something similar or whatever I know that when I go out a lot people always ask me like about my nail polish like what are you wearing what is that called blah 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 I'm like uh it's a regular nail polish but um <laughs> yeah I know that people get curious I'm kind of like a nail freak as well so it's kind of cool to share those things but yeah that's all I got um, if you have any questions about anything and if you have any suggestions about this crunchy mess please help us just out like seriously like what are you do like I don't want to wet it tonight because I know I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow but should I wet it in the morning and then just kind of like scrunch it or what I don't know but this video is getting kind of long so I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later